what did you think about Mike Epps and Shannon Sharp going at it? Because Mike Epps called him zesty. Yeah. And, and Shannon Sharp was like, yeah, I'm going to see you, and I'm going to see if you say it to my face. Mike Epps made a video and said, man, I don't really do much fighting these days. I do, pew, pew. I do blank. <laughs> and uh, I'm going to see you at All-Star in my neighborhood in Indianapolis. And we're going to do some blank, blank, blank. <laughs> and I'm going to tell you, from my point of view, Shannon Sharp got scared. Because <laughs> before I mean, you know it, they took a picture together working it out. <laughs> I mean, bro, you got to understand, you can't can't really threaten people on social media, man. Yeah. That shit going to stick in court, bro. You can't, th that, that's a that's a liable case of self-defense. When you say you're going to hurt somebody or when you see somebody, mm -hmm. you know, that's a, bro, that's a liable case to get, you know, something to happen, you know, so. I was like, man, I hope he don't try that nap town. Oh yeah, no, and I've I've heard stories about Mike. I don't think anything's gonna happen to him in his in his hometown. No. Oh no, they they love him way too much. There, no. they're not gonna let an outsider come in and do something to it's him. It's not happening. It's not happening. Not in his home city. It's not happening. Bro. Yeah, and I think Shannon figured that out very quickly. It's not happening. Yeah, they love Mike like Larry Hoover. Mm. <laughs> He's Larry Hoover. Hoover. I've Hoover, never heard. Apples. I've never heard. Nobody talked negative in Naptown about Mike. Yeah. And I've been there going there since 2003. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, me, me and Mike used to talk years and years ago. I was actually trying to hook him up to play Mac Dre. In a okay. Movie. Oh, he would have killed It would have been perfect. Bro, dancing. It would have been perfect. Bro, he would have killed yeah. Mac Dre. Yeah, and this was like 10 years ago. So, you know what I'm saying? It, it would have yeah. been perfect, perfect. But, you he said he's going to do me a part in my twins movie. I'm going to hold him to it, too. Okay. So. Yeah. Well, speaking of comedians, the whole Cat Williams thing happened right after our last interview. Yep. Where he, he blacked out on everybody. He dissed Michael Blackson, Steve Harvey, Center the Entertainer, Ricky Smiley, Kevin Hart, Diddy, Jonathan Majors, Tyler Perry, Tiffany Haddish, Harvey Weinstein, Ludacris, Earthquake. Also claimed he turned out $50 million three times not to wear a dress. He reads 3,000 books a day. Uh, <laughs> adopted 500 kids, like, everything. When you seen Cat Williams go off, what'd you think? These numbers will never be done again. I mean, that was, that was some, that was some legendary shit, man. Mm -hmm. Like, that, at the end of the year, that gonna be the front thing of the, uh, of the paper. You know, when yeah. they had an Instagram flashback? Yeah. Cat Williams, yeah. That, that shit, that shit was that was shit was, else. bro. But Cat, my boy, man, Cat. Well, yeah, I mean, we talked. It's funny because right when that happened, that's when our clip with me and you yeah. dropped about how he just threw you like fifteen thousand dollars when you got out of jail. Right. And right. I've been hearing these stories. Yeah. Nell has been talking about it. Uh, Beanie Siegel talked about it in our interview. He gave Beanie Siegel a, a Lambo. Just a half. Here you go. And he's the best or one of the best stand-up comedians. Yeah, he's up there. I've ever seen. He's up there. Ever seen. Yeah. He, he, he's definitely up there, man. Uh, and, you know, listen. All that did was help his tour. Now his tours are packed out even more. Yeah. And he's bringing in all the people that, you know, that are beefing with the people he dissed with. Now you got Monique on his tour. He got Kevin Hart's ex-wife on his tour. He's just like, the, the pettiness level is on 100. <laughs> <laughs> it's called chess. It, it is definitely chess. <laughs> it, it is definitely chess.